okay so next problem find input impedance and swr for distance uh, find input impedance and swr for distance 0.30 uh, lambda from load with is it equal to this one and is not equal to 50 so as usual is it bar equal to 60 minus j20 divided by 50 uh, you'll get 60 by 50 1.2 minus j 20 by 50 is 0.4 that's all let us take the smith chart find r value 1.2 minus j 0.4 so find 1.2 circles here let me draw in pencil no problem Since this reactance is negative reactance, you have to find the reactance in the bottom half. So consider the value over here and the 0.4 value is somewhere lying here. So this is the 0.4 value over here. So intersection of these two point is nothing but is a del bar value. Got it? Right. So once we found SDL bar, the second thing is we want to draw the SWR circle and since it is looking very close, so you have to draw it carefully and I'll take this picture outside and I'll draw this because my camera is again disturbing. So. So once we draw this one. Sorry, again, it, it goes somewhere. Okay, I misled somewhere. It is not coming correctly. So kindly draw with your exact scale. Let me measure this by using a scale. Close to 1.5. So approximately my value is 1.5. So once you drawn correctly, you can find out the yes value. It is approximately 1.5 because I've measured by using scale. So you measure, you can measure the same. Measure the length of this one and keep it here. And that will nothing but the yes value. Any of the way we can find out. So since my camera is disturbing, I have found the second half way. So right. So this is the first thing. We have found the yes value is 1.5. And we want to find out input impedance from load. It's located 0.3 lambda. Note that we have a load somewhere here. And we want to find out the input impedance. And the input impedance is located from the load as 0 0.3 lambda. It means from load we have to move towards generator side by a distance 0.3 lambda. So first thing we want to extend a line from the load. Take your scale. Uh, my scale. Take your scale, extend the line till it come outside. Since we want to move towards the generator, we have to move this way. Because towards the load is inside, towards the generator is outside. Right, so we know that a complete circle is 0.25 lambda. So if I move from here to one complete circle, again I will come to this place. It means by I traveled 0.25 lambda. It means I traveled 0.25 lambda. And again I want to move 0.05 lambda, isn't it? That will give you 
0.3 lambda. So from here I want to take 0 0.05 distance. So from here to here 0 0.1, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04 and 0 0.05 somewhere here. Correct? One full circle is 0 0.5. Sorry, uh, point, sorry, this is 0.5 not 0.25. One complete circle is 0 0.5 and we want to know 0 0.25. If you want to know what is 0.25, we can extend a line as usual what we do for the calculation of normalized admittance. So it means from here to here the distance is 0.25 lambda because we have divided the circle it means the distance is 0.25. We want to add 0 0.05 lambda from there. So from here, move distance 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05. Since it is not exactly here, one point uh, below this, so we have to keep the location over here. So this is the exact location of the source impedance is a del bar, and the circle passing through this one. Sorry, this is not ZL bar, this is Z yes source impedance we want to find out. Right? So you don't get confused with this line. I have drawn this is for an understanding, this is not the exact value. Or if you are good at calculating, you can uh, move from here to 0.3 lambda, you'll reach somewhere here. This is up to here. This is for just an understanding, this is not the problem. Okay. So this is the exact ZS point because we have moved from load to 0.3 lambda. To reach is the dust value. From here too we have moved 0.25 here, 0.3 lambda here and that is uh, given the value like this. So the value is 0 0.9 upper of means it is plus j reactance passing through is 0.4. So this is your is del bar. So from this we can calculate what is the actual is del by multiplying with is it not similarly that's all there is no need to find out the admittance value correct so simply uh, this will give you the input impedance or the source impedance by moving the 0.3 lambda distance so this is the another case of the problem okay right we'll see the next problem